After a dramatic election period, Joburg Mayor Dr. Mpopalate has now announced her 10-member mayoral committee team. The appointments took some time due to the delays that were caused by lengthy coalition negotiations. Action Essay's David Tembe has been appointed as MMC for public safety in the city. So the question is, what are his plans for the city during this festive season and, of course, for the rest of his term? The man himself joins us now via our video link for his thoughts and reflections. And, Mr. Tembe, it's great to have you on the program, sir. Thanks very much indeed for making time. Guess it goes without saying, congratulations are in order. The real work, I'm sure you don't need me to tell you, begins now. Let's begin with perhaps what you envision will be your immediate focus in the weeks ahead in a context where we're already seeing some of those dreadful accidents take place in places like Mpumalang. Yes, uh, thanks a lot, Diana. Um, the issue that we have to deal with right now is this issue of uh, fatalities on our road, as you have seen in Pumalano. So as Johannesburg uh, uh, Public Safety, we have deployed a lot of officers on our hotspots, and not only on, the, on our hotspots, but then deployed our officers to ensure that places of entertainment, that, that, because that is where, people, where it starts, because people go to the places of entertainment, and have some drinks. And thirdly, the issue of driving fast, speeding. Those are some of the causes of the accident. And also fatigue. If a person drives being tired, he won't be able to reach his destination. He must at least two hours after driving have a rest or change with somebody else. Mm. The advantage, of course, is that you come into this role having had led the JMPD in the past. I wonder what kind of unique, strategic kind of insight that gives you, um, given the role that you played before. Yes, uh, I, was, I was acting chief of emergency services. I was a paramedic, so I'm both sides. When it comes to fire and ambulances and the side of metropolis. So I think I'm going to save the city very well. Uh, more so because, uh, as you can see, that uh, we have got problem with emergency services. So I think I can add more value for public safety. Yeah. If, I mean, we, we almost feel like we have the same conversations around this time every year. I mean, from your vantage point, given that experience and time you've spent quite literally along the city's roads, where do you think the message is falling through the cracks? I mean, why is it that, like clockwork, when it gets to December, we find ourselves really singing the same song that we have for decades. Yes, we, we, we do that, but perhaps it's our deployment uh, strategy. I once mentioned it to, to the minister. I said, if you go to, to let's say you go to Debe, in every 20 kilometers, uh, if you can have a vehicle with blue light, uh, I think we can reduce uh, uh, our uh, fatalities. People, when they see the blue lights, they act, and uh, they will drive uh, cautiously. But if there's no visibility, people will drive at the high speed, they'll be drinking on the way, because they know where the roadblocks are, especially now with the social media. Everybody knows where the roadblocks are. Mm. But if we can be visible for a long stretch, then will be able to reduce fatalities. Yeah. Shall we speak governance issues for a while, if we can, Mr. Tembe? I mean, I'm interested to know the kind of conversations that took place between yourself and Dr. Mpopalate when she was appointing her mayoral committee in a context where, quite frankly, we weren't quite sure how this election, um, post the outcome, would actually fare for places like the city of Johannesburg. There's still great contestation and real fears that even Mpopalate herself won't be able to survive the next five years? No, she will survive. She, I've worked with her. Uh, she's, she's highly energetic. And remember, on all these uh, um, uh, clinics where our, the youth were on drugs, she was in charge. She has got a passion. She doesn't work 7 to 8 or 7 to 4. She works 24-7 and comes with the brilliant ideas. It's just that after, I think, about two years ago, it's, they are no more working for 24-7. Uh, the clinics are closed. Mm. But during her time, they were working 24-7. So I've worked with her. I've gone out with her. We have this, we, 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 we engage the youth, but drugs are not the way to go. 
So uh, she will survive. Yeah. Uh, uh, we will be there to give her full support to ensure that she survives. Speaking about support, how concerned are you that those reports we saw, I think it was a couple of, some time ago, um, around your own qualifications whilst you are still the chief in the JMPD might affect the work that you have to do now. You might remember the public protector uh, releasing a report, I think, that called into question whether or not you were suitable for that job. Uh, no, that report was something else. And uh, uh, if, I, if, if I, can, I can say it, that's why we want you to go to a review. Just tell me, if somebody wants your qualification, you give them that qualification uh, that took place about 15 years ago. And then you said, here's the certificate or here's the diploma. Um, then you said, let's go and check the file. Where have you ever seen such a thing? And then you say, you go and you said, you want to check the file. And during that time, there were not issues of sa saving your documents on the on the iCloud. So it was all in heart. heart. And besides, I'm not in charge of those things. So if a person says, this is not the right certificate because the file, this form was missing or this was not done, I, I don't know how, how it works. Mm. But uh, it has got nothing to do with me. I've done the course and... I've passed it, got a diploma, and then when a person comes and says that this diploma, uh, because we went and see the file, is not right. I don't know. Part of the allegation, uh, according to some reports, is that, in fact, some of the documents themselves that you submitted were unsigned. Is that true? Uh, no, there's no, nothing that has been not signed. No, there's nothing like that. Yeah. Document that I said. I mean, the question is qualification. When you talk about qualification, is the certificate and or a diploma or a degree? Hmm. That's, That's all. So the, what, what document is there that is unsigned? Is it a diploma? Is it a certificate? Uh, is it a degree? Or if ever it's a degree? Hmm. So what document is there? That's the question that I'm essentially posing to you. I, I mean, I, again, given these kind of questions, for lack of a better term, um, are you concerned mm -hmm. at all that that issue may cloud your image as you gear up to take up the reins, essentially, as MMC for public safety in Johannesburg? Uh, no, I'm not concerned. No, no, not a, not a cent. This, the, this, these people, if, if you, you care to know, um, remember, I was acting chief. I've been a director since 2002. For the seat, 2001 for the seat, 2001 being a director of operation. And then I went to JMPD in 2004. And I did a course. Then, if I've done all those things and then you just question it now when I come back, remember I, I've been acting chief in 2008, 2009 on JMPD. The mayor was Mayor Mason, and they were happy with my performance. Mm. And I continued. I went to academy. I was in charge of academy. From there, I went to national. Nobody has ever questioned that. Now, if that was something else, why? Sh how? Sh how did I get top security clearance? Because all those people who are making this allegation, they refused to do security clearance. Why did they refuse? Now I'm challenging them. If anybody who has got allegations against me, let's do lie detector test at news at newsroom. Everybody must see. Let's do a lie detector test. How's that? All right. Well, if people are keen for it, I imagine my bosses wouldn't mind something like that, especially because this is incredibly in the public interest. But um, my understanding is that the report itself was a leaked draft version. Um, yet to hear from the Public Protector's Office about whether or not any final uh, version of that report will be released. The sense I'm getting from you is that if that does happen, you're obviously going to push back against it. Yeah, yeah, of, of course. We will. I will. I will. Because... Yeah. If that be, I've never got, even today, I've never received the final report. And I've never been called after I responded to the draft report. And if I can tell you, 
that draft report was sent to some other ANC official before it was sent to me. Okay. While that takes place, of course, the work <laughs> needs to be done in the public safety department in the city of Johannesburg. Speak to us about, at the end of those five years, what you're hoping the one major change you would have made would be. Uh, I'm looking at having electronic law enforcement uh, in place, whereby we'll use dash cam and use the drones, especially in the inner city, to fight crime. And secondly, I would like to have municipality running fully in the city of Johannesburg to deal with the issues of bylaws. Uh, the officers must be motivated and ensure that they do the job with a passion. David Tembe is the new MMC for public safety in the city of Johannesburg. So once again, thanks very much indeed for making time. Appreciate your insights on Newsfeed AM.